Reza Boucher leads the overall World Cup and the sprint standing, so she is in the yellow and the red bin. Vanessa Voigt going first for Germany. Tanderold needs 10 today for a, a podium, possibly the win. And a sub-25 shoot. I don't think we're going to see it. Average 2.6, 2.7 in between. A slightly longer hole for the last one. Reza Boucher. That beautiful cam that she showed all season, it's there again today. Yeah. Lisa Vitozzi. Reza Boucher in to shoot number one. Looking for win number five of the season. And that would push a lead in the World Cup to over 100, but uh, a miss. <laughs> Tannenbold and she's been through her second shoot. She's gone 0-0. Zero, zero. Tannenbold in a very, very good position. She's only had one win so far this season. That was in the sprint in Hofgelsen. And she may well have heard that so many of the big names have missed. The Totsi yet to complete the pro. She does, and she does it well. Just another 150 metres or so to go for Tannenbold. This is going to be the target time for everyone else to try and match. 19.45, Elvira Erberg last it. She's quicker than that by 20 seconds. The Totsi's good. The time is good. Come on. She's just 16 seconds down on Tannenbold coming in. Oh. But she gets five, <laughs> and now she's in the running for a top three. I'm not sure she's quick enough to win this one. Massive moment for Franziska Preutz. Leading through all the splits so far, but she has to get five. This is her home range. Oh! That's a decent margin. She's got six seconds from this point. Just the very fast descent coming up. Yeah, she won't threaten Tannerbold, but you know she had that fabulous win on the first race of the season, Mike. But she's only been on the podium once since then. She, she seems to have lost a little bit of steam over the last uh, 500 meters. But uh, 19 seconds down, second place at the moment. Yeah, I think she would have been. The ski speed's great. Brawson, this is new territory. Delighted uh, that she's in second place at the moment. And I think she may well be able to hang on to that second place. She needs to keep this pace up. She realizes the size of the magnitude of this day for her result and her confidence. Well, here she comes. Vitozzi looking on. The clock ticking away. But I think the clock is going to favour the Swede today. Vitozzi is going down Ooh, a three. It's tight. But only just, only just 0.8 of a second in it. Oh, my goodness. Another 15 metres. And it would have gone to Vitozzi that second place.